Venezuelan President Maduro blocked a recall referendum on the weekend, and it brought on this recurring nasty dream I've been having. Maybe it's just a byproduct of my desperation to have a little reality intrude on the fiction that more government control through regulation and taxation is the magic bullet for jobs and economic growth while producing a never-ending list of so-called free services. I mean, the recipe is always the same. Give more power to government, more central control through more regulation and more taxation. Canada's full of these people. The refrain's so familiar. I mean, you got a problem, something you don't like, the answer is always get government to do something. So here's the dream. All of these people are instantly transported to Venezuela for the weekend. The nasty part is that there's a very high probability that they'd be mugged, or worse. I mean, there were 28,000 murders last year, and now neighborhoods are actually run by criminal gangs. And they probably go hungry. There's not much chance of buying necessities, although they have a recent removal of price controls, and that could help. Venezuela is a failed state thanks to central planning under 21st century socialism, an incredible feat for what was a middle-class country with the world's largest oil reserves before socialism hit. The government-owned oil industry is on life support, over a trillion dollars squandered. Inflation is forecast to top 1,600% next year. Three-quarters of the population live in poverty. A good place to learn the basics of economics for the likes of Jeremy Corbyn or uh, Bernie Saunders or Chavez celebrity supporters like Michael Moore, Noam Chomsky, Naomi Klein, Linda McQuaig. I mean, their visit would do us all the world a good. My name is Mike Campbell. Join me Saturday for Money Talk.